Hi, this is Scott Brown with a MotorAge Tech Tip sponsored by Autel. In this video, I'll take you on a real-world remote expert ECM programming event that bailed me out of a problem. And I'll also cover the other features the remote expert system can support you with. So stay tuned. I think you'll find these offerings quite cool. In my shop, we've been programming and coding modules for more than two decades. And more recently, thanks to J2534 and the offerings most vehicle manufacturers provide, we're usually able to deliver programming service operations on the vehicles we service in our shop every day. However, there will always be exceptions where our local tooling has come up short. In fact, just the other day, I had a Nissan vehicle that I needed to update the engine controller calibration on. And although I've done at least 50 or so of these in the past using Nissan's factory NERS program, this one wasn't working. And it was entirely very frustrating because I was using a separate laptop than I normally use because I had that one tied up on another marathon programming event on a BMW. And this one just failed. Now, it was kind of hectic because I reached out to Nissan support and over the course of a day and a half, I only received one response from them after I provided all of the information I was expecting to get some support back. And I waited till the next day because they are Eastern Daylight Time and I had no response. So this is when I decided to take the Autel Remote Expert Pathway and I'm happy to report that their system produced a positive result in about an hour. For background information, Autel's Remote Expert feature is supported by their Ultra Series diagnostic tablets, specifically the Maxisys Ultra, Ultra EV, MS919, MS909 and 909 EV, and the Autel X-Link standalone device. Now, it would be wise to perform a pre-scan on the vehicle and save that report locally on the tablet so you can submit that PDF as part of the Remote Expert service as requested. Now, setting up the Remote Expert system requires a few prerequisites, and all of the instructions are displayed right on the tablet. Essentially, you'll need to use a supplied USB to Ethernet adapter so that you can hardwire to your local internet. And you'll also need to use the V2 USB cable that connects directly between the VCI and your Autel tablet. And finally, you'll need to have a good battery maintainer to support flash and diagnostic SEPs. When you have all these requirements satisfied, go to the main screen and select Remote Expert, where the system will guide you through the next steps. Although this was my very first experience, I can tell you that Autel has engineered this system quite well. Once you've started your support ticket and typed in the description of what you need done and uploaded your pre-scan, you'll wait for an expert to contact you within the app. You'll be provided with a four-digit code that the remote expert will request in order to connect to your tablet so that they can carry out the work. It only took a few minutes for that remote expert to reach out and grab my ticket and then offer a quote. Now, as you can see, the transaction here was seamless and once complete, the remote expert took over. All communications for this event took place via the built-in chat feature, so no voice communications was needed at all. The remote expert will go over all of the prerequisites with you and may provide additional setup procedures. In this case, the remote expert prompted us to disable the cooling fans, which I had already previously disconnected. Once we acknowledge, the remote expert took over and started to do his job. During this time, the tablet will display critical information such as battery voltage, network connectivity stats, etc. Since reprogramming a module is a critical step, we don't want any anomalies to occur during this process. Typically, the remote user will be using factory software on their end, using the hardware locally, and will proxy through and into our vehicle. In my case, the entire process took about an hour, and it also included several relearns and clearing procedures at the end of the process, which the remote expert carried out. Now, once I disconnected from the remote expert, I connected back up to the car and began scanning and observing system operation. Once I felt that everything looked fine, I went back and closed out my ticket. Now at this point, if you needed additional service, 
you can go ahead and ping your remote service provider and they'll carry out the additional steps. Now, I really like the way that this was seamless and it wasn't difficult at all. And as mentioned before, it's clear to me that Autel has put a lot of work and effort into setting up this service. And in my case, it came to the rescue. The Autel Remote Expert supports module programming, ADAS calibration, pre and post scans on most vehicle brands in North America. Well, I hope you found this video informative. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and thanks for watching.